Today I want to talk to you about uh, proper hand placement and grip on a bow. Yes, I do have some lines there. Um, a lot of people I see put too much hand on the bow, their hand. They'll grip it more like a pistol, you know, so they got the bottom of your hand, the outside of your, the bottom and the outside of your pad on the bow. You see that a lot. You'll see that even with uh, um, people on hunting videos and such. The problem with that is you have too much hand on there. And what that allows the hand to do if you do, you know, especially in a hunting situation when, you, when it's not perfect conditions, um, you're at an odd angle, you know, your heart's pounding out of your chest. Um, so anything you do to create more tension can be magnified in that situation. So if you have more of your hand on the bow, it can, you can torque the bow just simply easier. All right. So how Al Cummings told me, your hand, I'll show it from this side, your hand makes a imaginary Y, okay? So you can draw a line on there. So straight down, so the bow goes just like that, okay? Just like that, and then as you'll see, you don't see the lines because it's right in there, okay? So what that, less contact on the bow, plain and simple. It takes a while to get used to, to holding a bow like that. I remember being taught by Al that, and it felt like my wrist wanted to do this, but you'll get used to it. Keep everything straight, slight bend in your elbow, keep relaxed, and the bow should just sit on your hand. Or as I like to tell people, think of your hand as a shelf for the bow. It's just sitting on your hand. And then once you, before you draw back, you want to get your, your, your grip set. Get it set. I'll sit there and play around a little bit. It's kind of a weird habit, but, uh, and then get it set and then try, try like heck. As you draw the bow back, don't grab the bow as you draw back. It's natural to do that. Just let the bow sit there and try like, you know, try to keep your hand the same. But the big one is keep you, keep your, your hand and of course your fingers totally relaxed. You have to relax your fingers. Uh, some people see they do this. Not too bad, but then again, you have, then you have tension in your hand again. So it's, it's actually easier to repeat it. Just relax your hand. Just relax your fingers. Just let them dangle. I'll lightly touch the bow with my middle finger. Just a thing I do. I don't use a wrist sling. Um, I don't need to, but that's very important for people. Some, you know, most people should use a wrist sling. Gives them the peace of mind the bow won't drop so they don't grab the bow when they shoot. So yeah, so if you want to do that, again, you can draw marks or on the outside as well and the bow should go just like that okay and just slightly touch the bow or just relax your fingers and then of course okay let's pretend I'm at full draw right now I'm aiming and then when I touch that trigger you don't grab I'll see a lot of videos especially hunting videos where guys are practicing before they go out hunting and they'll have a they'll have a good grip you know they a good angle and they'll have a nice relaxed grip and all. but it's, if you watch it frame by frame as soon, as soon as they uh, touch that release, they grab the bow. You see them grab it. Now you just torque the bow. And it doesn't take much to, to torque the bow. It just doesn't. So again, you can easily do this. This is easier. I could do it on the outside. You know, I didn't do that. but um, And the bow should go straight up and down. Okay? Nice and relax. Let the bow sit on your hand. Um, and don't deviate the bow or don't... Uh, Oh, the other thing too, yeah, once you get the grip set at full draw especially, you don't want to manipulate your, your, your draw. You'd, I'd rather see you let down and start over because your, your, your skin, of course, has elasticity. And, of course, if you're, if you're at full draw, then you move. That's going to build tension. And then when you shoot, when the bow goes off, of course, your skin literally can help torque the bow. So you want to be nice and relax and shoot. Now I'm going to quickly grab my bow and show it from the side. I'm going to shoot an arrow. Okay. All right. From the side, hope I can do this right. All right. So this is always the way you'll see me shoot, hopefully, because you want to do it consistently, just like a golf swing. Okay. 
Okay, I lightly touch my middle finger. My fingers are totally relaxed when I fire. Hand does not grab at the ball. I try. I'd like to direct your attention to the screen for a short video, if you don't mind. Hey, joke boy. Coming Get in. it together. 